What is up everyone, Emil here and today I'm going to show you how to implement an Instagram feed on your website without using their API. This is a rather easy process and it's going to take about 5 minutes, so let's just get started. The first thing you want to do is get the actual feed data from Instagram. Uh, this is done rather easily with file get contents and the following URL. So pretty much it's just instagram.com slash username slash media. This is going to contain JSON encoded data. So the first thing you want to do is decode that data into an array. And then what the array you're going to get looks like this. So the important thing here is the items part of the array in which there's information about every single post. So we have the user information, images, um, the caption, likes, comments, and a few more things here and there, mainly with uh, the link here that we're going to be using. So let's just start implementing this. The first thing we want to check, of course, if is if there is any items in there. So let's check if items is set. And then if that's the case, we're just going to loop over these items. Next up, we're going to get the actual post link. So this is available, as I said earlier, it's simply the link array um, without key. Then our image URL was available in multiple formats. Um, in this case, thumbnail, low resolution and standard resolution. Uh, depending on your needs, you might have to pick whichever you want. In this case, I'm just going to go with low resolution. So in this case, I'm going with item images, low resolution, and then URL was the key. So there we have our URL. And the next thing is going to be the actual caption. So there isn't always a caption. So what I'm going to do is check if caption exists. And if it does, I'm going to uh, use the caption text, which is always going to be there if there isn't a, a caption. And if there isn't a caption, let's just put an empty string there. Now the next step is to actually output the uh, the, the post. So I'm going to start with a link to the uh, the actual image. So let's just output our link. And since this is going to be an external website, so this is going to link to the Instagram website, let's just make sure the target is blank. And I'm going to add a class there as well, just to show that it's an Instagram post to make things clearer. Next up, I'm going to output the actual image. So the source we've already gathered from the data, and it is image URL. And finally, our caption is going to be here. So let's output that right here. So what we have right here is a very simple and straightforward layout for our feed. So let's see what it looks like. So this is what we get, a simple Instagram feed in which we have our picture, our caption, and a link to the Instagram website. Now, obviously with a bit of CSS, you can make that look a lot better. Um, here's an example of what I did on my own website. So here you have all of the thumbnails of the images. And then on hover, you have the actual caption, which uh, with a, a slight background there. And of course you can click on the picture to make it uh, go to the Instagram website. So that's all I have today for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and maybe it helped you. If it did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for more videos or tutorials, make sure to leave that in the comments below. I'm also going to include a link to the source code right here uh, in the description below. So if you need that, make sure to check the description. And I'm going to see you guys next time.